Most of my photography career has been spent in sort of a documentary genre, working for magazines, photographing areas of conflict. In my photography, most of the time, I'm simply just walking around with my camera, shooting life as it unfolds, looking for a particular moment, a particular emotion, which I think people would look at and think, wow, this is interesting. <laughs> The Pirelli calendar is an entirely new direction for me. I thought, how can I try and make this sort of my own and do it in my way and bring something new to it? And it seemed to me that a really interesting direction would be to take some really gorgeous, beautiful women and really make a series of portraits of them right here in Rio. Brazil is an emerging economy. There's a lot of social upper mobility. This is a happening place. Probably the best cityscape in the world is right here in Rio. There's no city that comes remotely close. It's just an incredible location. I love this uh, shooting in the street with the, all the people and the food. <laughs> it's nice. The tradition of the Pirelli calendar has, has been nude since the beginning. Uh, I thought it would be better for me to take uh, some of these fabulous women who have charities and worthwhile and interesting projects and to focus on them and to highlight them and their work. For me, it's a very beautiful day. It's like there is something like magical in the location and the contact with me and the Steve. I can see something between the camera and me inside. I wanted it to be clear that we were shooting in Rio, that we wanted a, a flavor of Brazil, and to show that, that this isn't like some disconnected, disembodied location on a beach somewhere. This is actually a real place. I'm very proud. I'm always being proud of being Brazilian. <laughs> How amazing this is. In Rio, with Steve McCurry, it's a very beautiful thing, and I'm very proud and honored to be part of this one. Our future is our kids, so we have to do something for them so they can have a better future, they can do something good.
not just going to a bad side of life. They can learn how to be good and do good things. I found the favelas fascinating. These slums, they have the best view of the city. This is a view to die for. I know it. We basically have a, a favela here in the foreground. We're actually in the favela. And then we have this kind of modern city skyscrapers mm -hmm. kind of in the middle. Yeah. And then, of course, then Sugarloaf and this amazing view. I think it's such a beautiful moment here that we're able to be taking the photos in the favelas with the background of you know the development that has been going on and the beautiful nature behind us, of course. He's amazing. You can tell the way that he shoots is very um, you know, specific down to every last detail, and I just love that. When I was invited to do this campaign, it seemed like it fit so perfectly because ever since I was a young girl, humanitarian work was built into my DNA. And so then I became a model after that. So I used my modeling as a way to kind of promote my humanitarian work directly. I think it's so amazing that Pirelli has decided to provide this incredible platform for powerful women and their causes. Since inception, we have rebuilt 57 schools around the world. Uh, this year, we will rebuild at least 11 to 13 new schools. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> it's a privilege to work with Steve. He captures life in a, such a special, uh, delicate way. So yeah, I mean that's, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. So yeah. getting rained on definitely helped to to get the layers off and and to open that soul. When it rained, I was very comfortable with that. There's a mood 
to the rain and, and to a kind of a gloomy day, which I think is just beautiful and it's very emotional. One of the things which I was really struck with right from the beginning was all this incredible graffiti. It's amazing. Conditions were not easy. It was not easy because the tropical rain and there was water coming from everywhere. We were shooting in Lapa and it was wet, but it was beautiful, it was colorful, it's intense, there is history in the walls. It felt like a movie shot. What will make a change in Egypt is education. And so a, a dream was born at that moment where I thought I really would like to create a new kind of association in Egypt that would be able to, 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 to enhance and maybe uh, open the, the perspective of children. So, I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge aspiration, but I hope from a small thing to be able to make something out of it. Okay, here we go. I think it's a privilege, you know, to be Brazilian and to do music because we have such a rich culture. I grew up in Brazil and we always said that Brazil was the country of the future. And I've been working here for 25 years and I feel that, you know, Brazil is reaching a better place in, in the world.
everybody uh, lost people, everybody had uh, HIV friends around during all these years. So it's impossible not to be touched by this cause. One of the things which I was really struck with right from the beginning about Rio were the parks. Uh, there's some incredible botanical gardens, rainforests that just seem to be like right in the city limits. Look at him. Oh, did you hear the high pitched screen? Yeah, that's cool. That did you get so him? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a way to get my environmental issues out to a wider audience and I like challenging myself in situations where, you know, this world didn't actually think like me. And so if I could insert myself in the world of fashion um, and be challenged by that and yeah. to be able to, to use it because it's such a mediagenic industry. So um, there's an opportunity there to, to really create some change and make a difference in an industry that, um, that people pay attention to. I do feel like I have probably the best career out there and I found it like really appealing to be able to marry environmental and social well-being with a modeling with a cause. I think now we're having a, a more mature conversation where we're starting to figure out that, you know, having the environment intact and having the ecosystems intact really yield economic benefits. So I applaud both Pirelli and Steve for coming together um, because I think the marriage will actually create something that is unexpected in a way. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. <laughs> He's an artist in what he does. When I see this picture, it's going to be me. It's going to be Sonia. <laughs> To educate a child is to, to give them love, to give them discipline, to give them a hope. So tomorrow they can compete in the big, huge world.
there's another one. Look. <laughs> That's cool. It's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Steve McCary, he's unbelievable and um, it's a pleasure to be here working with him. And I feel even more special because I'm pregnant and I'm doing working with him. <laughs> I would not see any other photographer capturing the most beautiful image with a pregnant woman. He would know exactly how to show that. I went to visit the St. Damien and St. Luke's hospital and something just opened inside of me and I wanted to be involved somehow. I met so many people in the hospital that you can see they're there out of love and that was a lesson for me to see how these people respond towards them. It was such a beautiful thing and I want right now to help them a little bit more. Hey, hi. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So too. thanks for joining us on this shoot. I'm super excited. Yeah, yes. no, come on. This is an honor to work with such a real. Uh, this is an old train station which has great light and a lot of interesting kind of mysterious yeah. things around here. I'm kind of really excited to see him coming into the fashion world by doing this calendar together and sort of mixing, you know, how he does that and adding a little bit of fashion into it. I'm really, really excited to see the portraits. I grew up in Ethiopia and I grew up really used to hearing about women dying in childbirth. It was quite normal. But then I had my own kids and I had them in the States. And, you know, in the United States, you realize that women don't die in childbirth. You know, that's like something that people don't even discuss. So I became a Grun ambassador for the WHO to talk more about maternal health because it's not an issue that comes to the table anymore. Yeah. 
Steve. Hi, I'm Steve. Pleasure. I'm Carly. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah. Thank you for having me today. No, our pleasure. This is great. Thank you. Yeah. So this is um, kind of an old abandoned train station, but it has great light. It has all this wonderful feeling of uh, you know old station. And we were saving the the best for you. Being that it's clothed, it brings the attention to who these women are outside of just their body, I mean, what they're doing and, and the voice that they have and the message that they're trying to spread. This is going to be such a special project that I know I'm going to look back at the rest of my life, and I think that um, you know these these photos are going to be just hauntingly iconic. The Prelly calendar is one of the great photographic assignments, so uh, I'm, I'm grateful and, and delighted and honored to have been a part of this project. <laughs> I think that the pictures we've made were just magic. That's uh, credit is to the models. They're so gorgeous and they're so beautiful. You know, just, just, just look into my lens and that's all we need.